Sarah decides she wants to bake and sell cookies to make some extra money. She has talked to her friends and neighbors and knows they want chocolate chip cookies. Sarah has determined the demand. Sarah goes to the store and buys all the ingredients she needs to make chocolate chip cookies. She spends $10. She bakes dozens of cookies so she will have a lot to sell. This is called supply. Sarah charges $1 for each cookie. Since there is a demand for her chocolate chip cookies, she is certain people will pay $1. Sales are going well until Timothy, who lives down the street, starts selling peanut butter cookies. Sarah's neighbors stop buying her cookies and shop at Timothy's instead. Suddenly, the demand for Sarah's chocolate chip cookies goes down. But Sarah still has a large supply of cookies to sell if she wants to earn back the $10 she spent on ingredients. Sarah decides to have a sale and drops the price of her cookies to 50 cents each. She won't make as much money, but just enough to earn back her $10. What has happened to Sarah and her cookies is called supply and demand, and it happens on a much larger scale in our country. Companies supply things for people to buy and set the price of those items based on what the demand for them is. Mass production can have an effect on Sarah's cookie making business. If the demand for her cookies increases and she needs a bigger supply of them to sell, she can hire others to help her. This causes her business to grow. The same thing happens in the United States. Companies can mass produce or make a lot of their products to sell, but they have to be careful. If they make too many of something and the demand for that item drops, they might be left with a lot of unsold merchandise. This process is part of what makes our United States economy work.